Welcome to Cedar Dental Smiles, your home for everything dental. Today, our guest is Dr. Lindsay Hill. Welcome to the show, Dr. Hill. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Of course. So, where are you from? Uh, I'm from Fort Myers, Florida. I'm a Floridian, born and raised. Um, from there, I actually went to Florida State University. Uh, there, I graduated uh, with a biology major. I knew that dentistry was in my future. From there, I ended up going to uh, Fort Lauderdale to Nova Southeastern University. I completed my four-year program to become a dentist. And then I was lucky to actually continue at that same school for three additional years to specialize in periodontology. It's pretty, it's a lot of schooling. Yes, that's for sure. <laughs> I'm, I'm tired already just listening. Yes. <laughs> Tell me, why did you become a dentist? Actually, I was interested in the dental field because it actually ran in my family. My father was a pediatric dentist. My mother was actually a hygienist. And even my uncle and my cousin were also in the field. My specialty is periodontics and dental implants. Okay. What does that involve? What does that mean? So that means that I, I take care of patients that have gum disease, and I also make sure to prevent uh, patients that have a healthy mouth from getting gum disease. Gum disease is whenever you actually have some bacteria and stuff that's stuck around your teeth below the gums, and it can lead to a lot of problems, uh, such as bone loss, recession, things like that. What's the first thing a patient does or what's the first thing you do when you when you see that patient when they come to the office? Yeah, of course. So when we see that patient, they come to the office, we want to make sure to assess the health of their teeth, their gums, and also the bone. Uh, what happens with periodontal disease is if that continues, uh, the bacteria in the area can't be cleaned out properly and it ends up actually destroying your gums and destroying your bone little by little over time. Can you tell me about, because there are a lot of articles now that talk about gum disease and how it relates systemically? Oh, yeah. Okay, and tell me what it does relate to? Yeah, of course. No, it's good that that's now out there uh, in the news because it is very important. I mean, the mouth is just connected to the rest of the body. It's obvious. And um, whenever that happens, if you have this ongoing inflammation and this ongoing small infection in your mouth uh, that we refer to as gum disease, that can actually get into your bloodstream and actually affect the rest of your body. Um, it's been proven for sure that that um, predisposes a patient or actually can worsen a patient's existing diabetes and uh, heart disease. So that could lead to issues, you know, like stroke and heart attack. So that's very important to, to, uh, to understand. So when a patient comes in, we evaluate a couple of things to see if they're a candidate for a dental implant. Um, one of them being we just want to make sure that your, your medical uh, health, your medical history is actually very good and under control. Can you give us our patients or our listeners, followers, uh -huh. some tips on how to keep a healthy, happy smile? Oh yeah, of course. So if patients already have healthy gums, then they just want to make sure to be brushing and flossing two to three times a day. Um, they're also going to be using a mouthwash as often as possible. And the most important thing is coming in for their frequent uh, dental cleanings. Because like I said, if they end up having the start of gum disease where that bacteria is below the gums, even if they're brushing and flossing the best that they can, they might not have uh, all the bacteria removed from their mouth. So it's also important to come in for your professional cleanings, your checkups, and that sort of thing. So that's why it's so important to take care of your gums. Oh, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, where can a patient find you? So if a patient has a feeling that they have gum disease or they know that they're missing a tooth and interested in an implant or need to have an implant, they can go ahead and call the office and meet with me directly, make an appointment with me. Another way that it can happen is if they're just seeing the general dentist at all of our offices and the general dentist may notice that they're either a candidate again for implants or for some kind of gum treatment and then that's when they're referred to see me. Okay. So there is a team atmosphere, right? Oh, yes, of course. Okay. So yes. what do you like about the team? I just think everyone is just really comes together uh, for the patient. I think that's the most important part. Uh, we're all here from the, the front desk and the people answering the phone and greeting the patients in the uh, initial appointment to actually, again, being able to uh, treat the patients from all different aspects. We have a hygienist to take care of cleaning their teeth. We have a specialist in terms of periodontist and prosthodontist. And we also have general dentists to make sure that their teeth are healthy in terms of tooth decay and things like that. So all in all, we're just comprehensively taking care of the patients. 
Is there some advanced training? How do, how do we get everybody on the same page? Even if we are at multiple locations, we're still able to call each other, discuss all these uh, treatment plans over the phone so that we give the patient uh, what the very best is. Uh, a lot of us go through continuing education um, after some uh, of the specialists have actually even gone through additional schooling in order to specialize in what they do. What office are you at? Oh, okay. So at Cedar Dental, we have multiple locations. The ones that I'm traveling at uh, at the moment are Jupiter, uh, Boynton Beach, also Pompano Beach, and then also the Bay Harbor location in North Miami. That's great. Yeah. Awesome. Well, exactly. thank you so much for of joining course. us on the show today. Thank you for having me. And uh, this has been a great episode. Thanks. Thanks.